Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1557, minimum number of vertices to reach all nodes. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the Likud website. So here we have variable n, where n represents the number of vertices in the graph. And the edges input represents the connection between two nodes, right? two vertices. So from 0 to 1 we have a connection and 0 to 2 we have a connection and so on, right? Then in the problem statement it says that we have a directed graph and it doesn't contain cycle. There is no cycle in this graph, right? So as a result we need to return the number of minimum nodes that is the minimum vertices required to reach all the nodes in the graph. Since it is a directed graph, it is pretty much straightforward problem, right? So initially, I'm going to create a set from 0 to n minus 1 nodes. So here in this set, I will be having 0 to n minus 1 vertices, right? So I will be having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So n is 6. So we are just creating the number of vertices that is given in the graph. Then using the edge input, I'm going to pick the destination nodes, that is the destination vertices only in a separate set. So here we have one, we have one here, right? Then we have two, then we have five, then we have four, and we have again two. Since it is a set, we don't have to repeat the nodes. Then I will be taking set difference between these two variables. So here I'm just representing the same in a diagram. So first we will pick the common nodes. So here the common nodes are 1, 2, 5 and 4. And the uncommon nodes in all nodes is 0 and 3. It will be separate and there is no any other uncommon nodes in destination. All the vertices in the destination input are in common. Right? So we don't have to put anything here. Then in the set difference, we only pick the nodes that are uncommon in both the set. So since we don't have anything here, we don't have to care about that. We only pick 0 and 3. We omit all the common nodes. Then finally, we are just need to return 0 and 3 at the end. We will be converting that into a list. Right? So in this example, from 0 and 3, I can reach all the nodes in the graph so we will check so from 0 I can go 1 and 2 right and from 2 I can go to 5 so I started at 0 I reached 1 2 and 5 and we haven't reached 3 and 4 yet right so and if I start from 3 I will be reaching 4 right so I will be starting from 3 I will be reaching 4 now I have reached all the nodes in the given graph. So that's all the problem is. So the intuition behind this particular approach is that we are taking the destination set, right? So the destination set represents that I can reach these nodes from a node. So we are avoiding these nodes from the all the nodes set. So if I avoid I would be getting only the node that doesn't have a incoming edge. So here 0 and 3 doesn't have an incoming edge, right? Here 0 and 3 has not been in a situation as a destination node. That is the reason why we are getting that as my answer in the set difference. So the time complexity and space complexity will be order of n plus e. n is number of nodes and e is edges, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, first I will create the all nodes using the number of vertices that is given. Then we are taking the destination variable where I will only take the destination from my edges input. Then I will take the set difference between these two sets where I will be getting the uncommon nodes in the source variable, right? Then finally, I will just convert the set to list. 
That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. There was an error in the code. So now it should work. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.